Christian believers have demons? And a lot of people have asked this question. A lot of people think that they cannot, but we have seen this the past few weeks. There's been a couple women who were set free from demons who were Christians. So yes, this can happen. We see in Matthew 6, 22, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is the darkness? There's principles in the spiritual realm. It's not magic. It's not like when you accept Jesus as Lord and you receive the Holy Spirit, it's not magic like, boom, you're just protected from everything. It's up to you to follow the instructions from God. Just because you gave your life to Jesus doesn't mean that demons cannot come in and have access. If you give them permission to, by opening up doors, they can have access. We have to do things God's way and follow his instructions and his principles. Just because you're a Christian and you take drugs and alcohol doesn't mean that that's not gonna have a hold over you. Doesn't mean, oh, I'm a Christian, so I'm not gonna be addicted. Like, that's silly, right? Well, addiction is a demonic thing. Everything bad, like addiction, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, sickness, division, hate, these are demonic things. These are, whether, whether it's a, a bigger stronghold, whether it's oppression, whether it's possession, you know, there's different levels, but they're all demonic. Most people that think this way, like, oh, demons can't come in, it's because they don't understand that all of these things have demonic roots. So many times it could be like, you don't understand what witchcraft is and you could open up the door to witchcraft. Sometimes, many times Christians are opening up doors and they don't mean to, their spiritual eyes aren't, aren't open yet. So they're opening up the doors to the enemy, not understanding. It's not like they're trying to disobey God and open doors for the enemy and they could they need to have deliverance now. And then there could be some who are choosing to fill themselves with darkness. This verse that says, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light, Matthew 6, 22. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be, will be full of darkness. So this verse is not meaning like, if you are an evil, bad person, <laughs> then you'll be full of darkness. It doesn't mean that. It's just saying whether you mean to be setting your mind on things of darkness or not. You know, many people's spiritual eyes aren't open. And so they're, they're seeking help. Like the, the woman who was, who was delivered um, a few weeks ago, her spiritual eyes weren't open yet. And so people were trying to help her through demonic powers, through witchcraft. And so she wasn't like, knowing she wasn't like i'm disobeying god now no like she just wanted help right so that's that's how it can happen this is the importance of why we need to to be in a place where you can receive teaching like this so your eyes can be opened up amen so you're not just getting milk and then of course there are many christians who live one foot in the world who live one foot in the world where you're not surrendered to god and so when you're doing that, you are opening the door up to the enemy in certain ways. So that's how it can happen. The key to receiving deliverance is coming to where the power of God is. This is the key. This is the key. And, and the enemy may, the enemy knows where the power of God is, so he will try to keep you from coming but you need to know that if your heart is to be set free, if your heart is to find Jesus, is to seek him, is to receive from him, Jesus is more powerful than the enemy, no matter what. Nothing can stop you from coming and receiving deliverance. Nothing can stop you from receiving from God, no matter how loud the voices are in your head, no matter how loud the lies are, Nothing can stop you from receiving freedom, from coming and receiving freedom in everything you need from God.